People often interpret graffiti as vandalism and don't really stop and think, wow, this person has talent and creativity. All they see is a waste of time, destruction of property, or other negative things that people say about graffiti. For this film, I got to talk to one of the pioneers that gave Chicago a new color and still piecing all around Chicago. His name, name is Flash ABC. ABC. First time probably tagging a wall was in my neighborhood. That's where you start, you know, probably on a dumpster or somewhere up in Logan Square. Somewhere in 85, we started adding more people like Risk and uh, Take Two and Trister who used to actually draw a lot. So we went, to, that's what we called it, artistic bombing crew, which is uh, what is known now. When we started initiating guys in 85, they used to have to run the tunnels in Logan Square from one, t from one tunnel to the other. And that was kind of like the initiation. You had to, you had to t run the tunnels. I want to say about 20 to 30 people were actually in ABC by the time 1986 came around. We open our black books and we start sketching and some guys will get criticized to do this, that's, you know, or, or do that. That's what a sketch session is, is having your uh, work critiqued by your, your other guys, you know. For me, actually, uh, when one of my guys died and you see people dying around you, I started, I started to question what I was doing. So yeah, I, I, 1980, uh, 1986, I was arrested and uh, I decided to stop and join the military. So uh, I felt, at that time, I felt like I had wasted all my high school years, you know, bombing and tagging. And when it came down to it, I didn't have a good job. So I needed to straighten up. Flash took us to the Bloomingdale Viaducts. This whole viaduct was covered with graffiti. The talent was amazing. From creative characters to Scooby-Doo and Shaggy, old school to new school, four blocks of Chicago graffiti. Flash taught me that graffiti will never die out, no matter what laws come out. They are never going to shut us down. I'm never going to forget our trip to the Bloomingdale Viaducts because it shows me that I came from a city with a deep history of art without boundaries.